I love using Kittle to create t-shirt graphics. And if you're selling on Redbubble, as you know, you can sell more than just t-shirts. You can sell water bottles, canvas prints, and in this video, I'm gonna cover some tips on creating stickers using Kittle. Let's jump in. Now, if you haven't heard of Kittle yet, today's your lucky day. There's a link in the video description below, and you can sign up for three free months of pro subscription. It's completely free. They don't even ask for a credit card. And what I like about Kittle is that using Kittle without any design experience or any high-end software, this is all done online, I can simply take pieces of this design and move them around. I can flip them, I can rotate them, I can change the text in here simply by clicking and then typing. It's so easy to use. Just like that, I've created a new design that I can now upload onto Redbubble. So in this video, I'm gonna go over stickers. And what I specifically like about Kittle is just the ease of use. And if you're using a circular design, then sometimes stickers is relatively easy. So here, for example, I can make the design bigger. I can simply move the text around. It's so easy to use. Here, I'm gonna make the print on demand a bit bigger here. I'm gonna move this over. I'm gonna move these, make them a little bit bigger as well. Move them up here. And then I like this text as well. Within minutes, I've got a great looking design. Okay, now, if I'm gonna use this as a sticker, the background is now purple, right? So what I can do is I can go over here to the right hand side and there's a release texture button. If I click on that, I can actually move the texture off of the design. So I can just simply click the delete button now and that gets rid of that. The other option now as well is you can see the background color. When I click on the background, the background color comes up and I can change that background color to anything I want. And I can also change the opacity and I can move it right down to 0%. So that's what I'm gonna do here. I'm gonna change it to 0%. That now changes this design to basically a PNG file. We can see here it's a background that's clear. And now I can download this and save it as a PNG. So this will be great for a t-shirt. I'm gonna click the little download button right here. And it's going to say what's the width and what's the height in pixels and its aspect ratio is locked. So I'm gonna type in 3000 here for each of them. And we'll see that that changes. And now we can say here, for digital use PNG JPEG. And there's even an option here to say remove backgrounds. So you could simply one click it and the background would be removed as well. Now for digital use, I'm gonna click PNG because I'm gonna be uploading a digital file to Redbubble. Okay, now I've uploaded my design onto Redbubble and we can see here the design's gonna pop up. Now from a t-shirt perspective, we can see it looks just fine. I can move this now into the middle of the shirt and I can change the color of the shirt and that's fine. But what about stickers? If I scroll down to stickers, we're gonna see here, I'm gonna click on this and it'll update. We can see that the sticker is not looking great and there's a bunch of space in here and it's because I uploaded a transparent PNG file. So here's the fix. We're gonna go back into Kittle and there's a couple things you can do now. I'm going to click on the background and now I'm gonna add in the background. I'm gonna change it now to 100% and I can make it any color I want. I like black, for example, so I'm gonna make it black. I think that looks really smart. So I could use this now as my sticker. I'm gonna click the download button, but instead of a PNG file, I'm gonna click the JPEG file just because it's easier to use, and I'm gonna change my width. I'm actually gonna make it 4,000, and I'm gonna click JPEG. So now on Redbubble, under the stickers piece, I've actually got an option now to replace the image right here. So I'm gonna click replace the image. And now I'm going to pick my black sticker. It's now uploading. And we can see now the sticker itself is now a black square that houses a circle inside of it. That's the entire sticker. I can match that if I wanted to by changing the background color, my default color for the rest of my designs, not necessarily the t-shirts, but for everything else now, you'll see the chiffon tops, for example, the graphics t-shirts, they all turn black. So if that's what I want, that'll be a great way to make it consistent across my product. I do this as well, not only for stickers, but just as an aside, down here with the water bottles, I'll typically change that as well because it's a white background on the water bottle. I'll replace the image and I'll select the black sticker. So it's really for the sticker. Sometimes for the tote bags, I'll do that as well. If I don't like the way this looks because it's light font, I'll replace the image as well. And we can see here now on the water bottle, I'm just gonna shrink this down a tiny bit horizontal and vertical, apply changes, and now we've got that on a pretty good looking water bottle. I like that a lot. The cotton tote bag as well. 
I've got a black background. Now, if you, now some people are not going to like this tote bag, right? So it's the same thing with the sticker. If I go back to the sticker, you'll notice it's a square sticker. It's right here. But what if I wanted just a round sticker? Well, we go back into Kittle and I can simply click the black background and I can change this now to any other color or I can just change the opacity to zero. So I'm going to change the opacity back to zero. And in this case, what I'm going to do is over on the left hand side, there's an elements menu over here. I'm going to click the elements and I'm going to type in the word circle. And I'll click search. And we'll see there's a bunch of circles that come up. If you don't want to search, if you just go into the elements menu, there's also, I'll just remove the search bar here. You can also see there's a shapes button right here and right underneath there's basic shapes. So I'm going to click on the basic shape, which is a circle. And now we'll see that pops up. And now I can just make a circle about the same size as my design. I'm going to right click it and I'm going to push it to the back. Now I've got my circle sitting inside my design and now my entire design is a circle. So now that's going to be my new design. Now when I download, I'm going to download the PNG, not the JPEG, because the JPEG will pick up everything and this could make the background white. So I'm going to pick the PNG because that has a transparent background. And now when I go into Redbubble, I'm going to click on my sticker and I'm actually going to replace the design now with the round sticker. And we'll see now that's a perfect looking sticker. It's round and it's not a square that has a circle in it. It's an actual round sticker. So there's a few different options. Some people like the black square with the circle inside it. Some people like a round design, you know, teach their own. That's one of the beauties of print on demand. There's lots of different options here. I hope you found this video walkthrough helpful. I absolutely love Kittle. And if you do too, make sure to leave a comment down in the comment section below. I'd love to hear your feedback on what you're using Kittle for and how you like it. Thanks a lot for watching everybody. Here's another video on why I love Kittle so much on my other channel, Crafty Stack. So check that out too.